Imagine launching a spacecraft nearly half a century ago with a memory smaller than a modern calculator, powered by less energy than a light bulb. And yet somehow, it's still alive, still exploring. And now, it just made a discovery so unexpected, so deeply unsettling, that scientists around the globe were left speechless. Voyager 1, the most distant human-made object in existence, has just sent back data from the edge of interstellar space, data that doesn't match anything we expected. In fact, it suggests something impossible. For 45 years, this small probe has traveled further than anything humanity has ever built, moving beyond the heliosphere, past the solar winds, and into the unknown. But the latest transmission has changed everything. It confirms what many feared, that space beyond our solar system is far more chaotic, more mysterious, and possibly more intelligent than we were ever prepared to believe. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was designed for a mission that would last just four years. Its task was simple. Observe Jupiter and Saturn, send back data, and fade quietly into deep space. But what happened next defied all expectations. Instead of fading, Voyager 1 kept going, using gravity assists to slingshot past the outer planets, eventually crossing a boundary no other spacecraft had ever touched. The heliopause the invisible border where our sun's influence ends and true interstellar space begins. Even as it moved beyond 14 billion kilometers from Earth, the tiny craft continued to function, using decades-old technology that somehow resisted the radiation, cold, and time of space. Scientists celebrated its durability, amazed by its endurance. But no one expected it to still be sending information, and certainly not what it just revealed. Because beyond the heliopause, Voyager 1 didn't enter silence. It entered something else. Something unexpected. Something that behaves like a void, but isn't empty. For years, Voyager 1 sent back readings that challenged our understanding of interstellar space. Plasma densities higher than expected. Radiation spikes that appeared without warning and background noise that seemed to hum with strange consistency. But one anomaly stood out. In August 2012, when the spacecraft officially crossed the heliopause, scientists anticipated dramatic shifts in the magnetic field. They waited for confirmation that the solar influence had ended and that Voyager had entered a new magnetic domain governed by other stars. But the shift never came. The magnetic field didn't flip. It didn't bend. It barely changed at all. This was impossible. Every model of the interstellar medium suggested a new orientation, one that would mark the beginning of alien space. Instead, Voyager 1 reported a field nearly identical to the one inside the solar system. The only major shift was in plasma density, which confirmed the boundary had been crossed. But how can the field remain unchanged while the environment is entirely different? Some proposed magnetic reconnection events or large-scale draping fields stretching from the sun. But none of those explanations held up under scrutiny. Slowly, quietly, scientists began to consider something far stranger, that the interstellar medium is not as foreign as we thought, or worse, that it's being altered by something we don't yet understand. What truly stopped the scientific world was what Voyager 1 began transmitting not long after. Low-frequency plasma waves that pulsed in eerie regularity. These weren't random bursts of cosmic radiation. They were structured, recurring every few weeks matching no known source. They echoed through the instruments like a cosmic heartbeat. Some dismissed them as natural resonances of the plasma itself. Others believed they might be signs of distant supernovae or black holes interacting with the interstellar gas. But a small group of astrophysicists began whispering a different theory, one that no one wanted to publish. What if these waves aren't just natural? What if they're signals? Not messages in a human sense, but pulses from a network of energy, something ancient, diffuse and aware, stretching between stars like neurons in a galactic brain. Voyager 1 may not have found life in the traditional sense, but it may have stumbled into the equivalent of a thought. And if that's true, then what we're receiving isn't just radiation. It's presence. Not intelligence as we know it, 
but an awareness embedded in the very structure of the universe. And Voyager 1, by leaving the solar system, might have awakened something that's been dormant for longer than we've existed. What Voyager 1 confirms isn't just that the interstellar space is stranger than we thought. It confirms that our idea of the end of the solar system was a myth. We imagined the heliopause as a border, a final line separating us from the unknown. But it's not a wall. It's a membrane, a veil. And on the other side isn't nothingness. It's something, a zone where the rules of physics begin to blur, where time behaves differently, where signals loop and data folds back in on itself. The spacecraft's latest readings have shown unexplained timing discrepancies, pulses that arrive milliseconds too early or too late, almost as if they were reflected or redirected by something unseen. Some engineers now believe Voyager 1 is not just drifting through space. It may be skimming the surface of a higher dimensional layer of reality, where information is altered simply by passing through. What started as a four-year mission to Jupiter has become a journey into the deep machinery of the cosmos. And Voyager 1, the small metal survivor that left Earth before most of us were born, is now our first contact with a realm where reality bends, and the universe might finally be looking back. As the strange data continued to pour in, the scientific world quietly began to fracture. On the surface, institutions maintained calm, attributing the anomalies to hardware degradation or natural cosmic noise. But behind closed doors, the tension was growing. A silent war of interpretations began to take shape. On one side, the traditionalists, seasoned physicists and mission engineers, insisted that everything Voyager 1 was experiencing could eventually be explained with enough math, more models, and better simulations. To them, the consistency in magnetic fields, the low-frequency pulses, the temporal glitches, all of it was curious, but not yet revolutionary. Yet on the other side, a growing group of younger theorists, cosmologists, and even quantum physicists began to speak of something more radical. What if the region Voyager 1 is entering isn't part of space as we define it, but a kind of transition zone, a boundary between classical and quantum realities? What if the probe is brushing against a layer of space where the laws we trust begin to unravel, not because they're wrong, but because they no longer apply? And what if the probe, by crossing that boundary, has become something more than a machine, a sensor of dimensions we cannot yet perceive, a silent witness to the architecture of a multiverse just beginning to flicker into view? Among the strangest anomalies detected in Voyager 1's transmissions is a phenomenon some are now calling the quantum echo effect. Certain data packets, when decoded, appear to contain mirrored signatures of earlier transmissions. But these mirrors arrive before the originals. The data loops, but out of order, as if time itself is bending around the signal. Engineers initially thought this was just a glitch in the spacecraft's aged memory systems. But after careful analysis, it became clear that these mirrored data bursts were not random. They carried subtle variations, embedded noise signatures, and altered timestamps that implied they had passed through something. Not just space, but a field, an interference pattern, or maybe even a conscious filter. One physicist compared it to bouncing a message off a wall and getting it back before you ever sent it. The implications are terrifying. If Voyager 1 is encountering a region where causality is no longer absolute, where events can reflect and refract through space-time, then we may be witnessing our first proof that reality is non-linear, that time can be folded, manipulated, or perceived differently, depending on where you are in the cosmos. And Voyager 1, through pure endurance and luck, might be the first human artifact to drift into such a place. Perhaps the most chilling realization of all came not from what Voyager 1 sent, but from what it didn't. After a particularly strange plasma burst, the probe went silent for 72 hours. No signal, no heartbeat, no response. Ground control waited in collective dread, fearing that after 45 years, the final breath had been taken. 
But when contact was re-established, Voyager 1 returned to normal as if nothing had happened. All systems appeared fine, power levels stable, but embedded deep in the diagnostic report was something that shouldn't be there. A time-stamped gap that couldn't be accounted for, and a sequence of data packets marked with an internal code that no one remembered programming. It was as if, for those 72 hours, Voyager wasn't alone. As if another system, unknown and invisible, had accessed the probe, interfaced with it, and then left without a trace, save for a trail of silence. And now, every pause, every signal delay, every unexpected ping from deep space carries new weight. Because what if silence isn't the absence of communication? What if it's a reply in a language we've never learned to hear? Voyager 1 was launched with the hope of discovery, a desire to know what lies beyond. But now, in its advanced age, drifting alone through the coldest regions of interstellar space, it may have become something else entirely, a mirror. Not a mirror of our solar system or our science, but of ourselves, of our fear, our imagination, our limitations. What it reflects back is not just data, but possibility. That we live in a universe far stranger than we dared admit. That beyond the comfort of planetary orbits and Newtonian mechanics lies a reality more fluid, more intelligent, and perhaps more interactive than we ever imagined. And if Voyager 1 has indeed found evidence of structures, echoes, or entities that can bend the rules we thought unbreakable, then we have a responsibility, not just to observe, but to listen. Because this probe, launched before the internet, before smartphones, before most people alive today were even born, may have just become the first human soul to cross the threshold between science and something much, much older. For 45 years, Voyager 1 has traveled in silence. No sails, no destination, just a spark of human will carried on a golden disk, whispering into the cosmic dark. It was never meant to return, not in body, not in signal, not in consequence. And yet, here it is. Not just still alive, but delivering a message we never expected. A message we may not yet be ready to hear. Because what it's found out there, in the place beyond our solar winds, beyond our models, beyond the safety of our assumptions, is a reflection of our own limits. The patterns, the anomalies, the echoes of time and silence. They don't just challenge our physics, they challenge our place in the universe. They force us to ask, what if we've been looking at the cosmos like it was a stage, when all along, it's been a conversation? What if Voyager 1 didn't just cross a boundary in space, but opened a door between what is known and what has always been waiting? A door we can't close. And if that's true, then this isn't just about a spacecraft. It's about contact, not with aliens, not with gods, but with the idea that we were never alone, not because something is watching us but because the universe itself is awake. So now we must decide. Do we keep watching the stars like explorers? Or do we finally accept what Voyager 1 has become? Not just a machine, but our first ambassador to the unknown? What do you believe Voyager 1 really found? Was it just distortion and signal decay? Or did we receive something more? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe for more discoveries that could change everything we thought we knew.